Hello and welcome to another Halo Infinite map ranking with your favorite chuds. <laughs> We're chuds now. Chud, this is sorry. <laughs> this is sorry, liberals. Yeah. We're chudding it up. I'm Chuds McDougal, and that's Chuds McKenzie. Hoo Hoorah! Hey, uh. We're talk. We're here to rank our top ten general patent quotes. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, we're back. Um, uh, for any of our podcast listeners, don't worry. We will go back to the podcast. Uh, hopefully soon. Uh, someone went to Japan again. So. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe he'd do that. Fuck. Yeah. Inconsiderate jackass. Anyway. <laughs> he's back now, but he had other plans. So, here we are doing... Yeah, shit just kind of happened. Ooh. Here we are doing an interstitiary video that we probably should have done three weeks ago, but here we are. Uh, yeah, We're yeah. going to be ranking all of the uh, big team battle maps currently in Halo Infinite. Uh, this is, there's 11 of them. Uh, good thing they added some more, otherwise this would have been a really short video instead of just kind of a short video. Yeah, because, like, before be before a few, like, before a couple months ago, we only had, like, what, four, five, six maps in there? Six, yeah. Yeah, so we have a, a good amount more than that, so this will actually be a, a, a relatively substantial video, rather than just, like, eh, 20 minutes and we're done. Sure, 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 yeah, sure, yeah. sure, 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 sure. Let's get started with our usual... We got our usual ranking spaces here. Primo Kino, Destination, Do Be Vibin' With, Acceptable Area, Sketchy Neighborhood D, and Travel Not Advised. <laughs> neighborhood D. <laughs> I didn't. I know. The site know. The site does what it will. If only they made the boxes like 10 pixels wider. Ugh. If only, if only. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's start off with the first one on the list here, Breaker, which I have very limited experience with, so I'm going to defer mostly to you for Breaker here. Yeah, Breaker is an uh, Breaker is one of the older big team maps in Halo Infinite, and my problem with this particular map is my my big problem with this particular map is more so than any other map in Halo Infinite. It is a heavily sequestered map, depending on it, it is a heavily sequestered map, like right down the middle. Yeah, trying to get to the other side and explore the other team's uh, spawn area is incredibly difficult because of how. Uh, the middle of the map is designed. You can't really go down the direct center, not effectively anyway. Yeah. Um, so you have to go across like the the side uh, areas, and honestly, not really a huge fan of that. It just limits your uh, traversal options. Mm -hmm. um, I will say there are elements of uh, Breaker that I do like. I think Breaker actually has a really nice visual aesthetic. Yeah. Um, I. I do generally like the visual look of, like, that big laser that comes down the middle and just kind of, like, goes across the map. Uh, it isn't- it is actually entirely possible to get caught in that laser and die, so... <laughs> yeah, this map aesthetically reminds me a little bit of the, um... Uh, in Killzone 3, there are some bombed-out city maps, uh, cause at the end of Killzone- uh, in, during Killzone 3, the capital city of, uh, of Helgen gets bombed. And so some of the multiplayer maps take place in, like, um, the bombed-out city, and this, it kind of gives me that vibes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I have very limited experience of this, and it's mostly been on gimmicky modes like Big Team Escalation. Um, and yeah. I, wa I wanted to get more experience, but since they weight the new ones so heavily, this map rarely comes up. So... This, this map used to be uh, relatively uh, common with... Uh, big team flag, but uh, it's been heavily de-emphasized entirely because of that uh, problem of it's very difficult to actually get to the other side of the map to grab the flag. Yeah, hold on. Uh, what is it now? Uh, okay, they've evened it out now, uh, so they're yeah, no longer yeah. weighted, so Breaker has a fucking 7.5% uh, chance. Yeah, yeah. It's... It, from what you can, from what you can see here, though, it's still the map with the least possibility of getting it, though. No, it's tied so. with Oasis. Look at that. And ah, okay, tied with Refuge, tied with Scar, okay. tied. Uh, I, I think that's it. Okay, this basically is, like a lot of the older ones. Yeah. 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 Well, Refuge is new, but we'll, we'll get to that. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, but anyway, uh, I don't feel qualified to really weigh in on Breaker. So where would you put Breaker on this graph? I've got very mixed. I've got very mixed feelings on Breaker. 
Um, I, I, I personally think that as a big team experience, it kind of fails at creating a proper communal experience. It just sequesters uh, both teams far too much. It also seems, it also has, sounds, it's also kind of shit for vehicles. It really is. Like, again, there's very limited space where you can actually drive around. You can drive around, like, the areas around yeah. uh, your base, but, like, it's just not great for vehicles. Honestly, I kind of feel like this is a failure of a map Yeah. in a lot of design regards. I don't hate playing on it, but every single time I play on it, I'm just like, there's so many maps that do this so much better. Yeah. So, because of that, it's very difficult for me to figure out... Because, like, the problem with this is that I am tempted to put it in Travel Not Advised, but the thing about Travel Not Advised is that is for maps that I just fucking hate playing on. Yeah. Whereas with Breaker, it's more so just very disappointing and underwhelming, so I'd probably put it in Sketchy Neighborhood. Sketchy Neighborhood it is. You wouldn't want to live there, but you might want to visit. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Uh, coming up next, we got Deadlock. Oh, God. Fucking deadlock so this is an so this is another one of those early halo infinite maps and here's here's the funny thing about deadlock and deadlock and breaker specifically breaker is the meme bad map mm -hmm. deadlock is the map i actually hate <laughs> uh this map was extremely com this map was admittedly far worse earlier on and that is entirely because of how uh, stockpile was originally balanced. Yeah. Uh, this map was like half stockpile whenever you got it, and the other half was Slayer. Yeah. Um, it's still not good for Slayer because one of the biggest issues with uh, Deadlock is it has ridiculous sightlines, um, which makes it an absolute mm, sniper's paradise. I don't think it's as um, I don't think it's as bad as some other big team maps uh, in that regard, like. Um... I just I don't I don't I don't get I don't think I get dinged by snipers here as often as something like Scar or even high power. Admittedly, yeah. admittedly, but another big issue with this map is that it's far too easy for vehicles to overpower. Um, that is true. Like it, it faces it, it places far too much of an emphasis on vehicles and trying to actually. That said, one, like that said, if you're yeah. the one in the tank, you're having fun. <laughs> it, that is true. Yeah, and I suppose that is part of the big team experience in some regard. Yeah. But this is one of those maps where, even if that's the case, if you're trying to stay on the fringes of the battlefield to try and, like, you know, pick off guys, uh, like, on the edges of the map, it's not very fun because it... I, I just don't feel that, like this is a terribly well-balanced map. It, again, it was much worse uh, earlier on because of how uh, Stockpile was originally balanced, for those unaware. Uh, stockpile originally just dropped a fuckload of power seeds in one area and expected everybody to just swarm that one area yeah. to like grab power seeds and then it would just spawn another bunch of power seeds whenever uh, one team hit I believe I believe originally it was like you had to grab five power seeds instead of three yeah now now, so, now uh, they're now they're more evenly dispersed around the map and you only need three of them. Yeah, yeah. For a, stockpile for a now is stockpile now is so much better. <laughs> yeah, I, I like playing stockpile. I actually I don't I don't hate the, I don't hate deadlock uh, deadlock as much as you do. Uh, I just don't think I have I had all those bad early experiences with it. That's fair. That's probably honestly that's probably what's painting my uh, perception of it. And mm -hmm. I probably I probably need to think more about how it is now, which it's better. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think I don't think it's 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 amazing or anything, but I do I I, I have I have fun on this map more often than I don't. Uh, I also think it's uh, one of the better ones for total control, honestly, because the area the zo the cat the the points tend to be so I, far apart that you get nice balanced engagements a lot of the time. I will admit this is actually a pretty good total control map. Yeah, like it's 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 definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, especially with especially with the recent uh, weapon rebalancing. Yeah. Uh, so I think that I think those are the, the only three modes: Slayer, Stockpile, and Total Control on this map. I don't think there's anything else. Um, yeah, yeah. I, th I think I, th I think originally I would have put this in like sketchy neighborhood or travel not advised, but I think it's been improved enough to where acceptable area is fine for it. I guess uh, that's what I that's why I would I would put it as well. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, coming up next, one of the newer maps, Fortitude. Fortitude. Fortitudinous. It's this one. I really like Fortitude. <laughs> no, it's yeah, fun. yeah, yeah. Fortitude is really fun. I, I like how... This was one of the first... Uh, when they did the big team ba uh, battle... Um, refresh. Refresh. Yeah. Uh, about a month or so ago, from the time of this recording. This was one of the first maps that I played on, and... Playing on this after being stuck with the original six map rotation of Big Team was such a breath of fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> because this this is one of those maps that does what I think a good Big Team battle map should. It does create a very large, uh, a, a large, relatively open area. I wouldn't describe it. As, I wouldn't describe. Scale. I wouldn't describe uh, Fortitude as, as open. I would describe it as just big and intricate. It's intricate. That, that's a better word for it. An, an intricate the, area for. It's like, got a huge. Know, big... It's got huge like trenches running around the edge of it, and it's got uh, tunnels, not tunnels, chambers, I suppose, running throughout. Yeah, and it's got a lot of, and it's got a lot of these like small areas scattered throughout where you can, uh, that, and this is in my opinion, what really makes a really good Halo Infinite big team map mm -hmm. is it's able, is you are able to effectively divide up the big team experience into smaller individual services. Yes. Yeah, the match. yeah. Yes. And also, uh, this map is a great showcase for infinite's expanded mobility options because it has enough elevation Absolutely, and different, yes. you can do all sorts of grapple shot tricks or thrusters are really good here. And, uh, while it doesn't, while it only has a limited selection of vehicles, the map feels really well designed for the vehicles it has because you can just you just run in that giant circle. Um, Absolutely, yeah. No, no. Playing playing on this map with a ghost is so fun. Yeah, it is. It is pretty intricate <laughs> and a little confusing at first. It's kind of hard to learn the layout of this map because uh, it's got multiple levels and it's broken up into so many little sections that it can be yeah, a, I... a little challenging to learn. Uh, but once you do, I think it's a really, it's a really, uh, it's a really great big team experience. Oh yeah, well, honestly, I, I feel like that complexity of the map is probably its biggest strong suit because yeah. one of the things that I have that's a big issue with a lot of the maps that I have like you know problems with is that they're too simple yeah. and they're too flat. This yes. doesn't have I, any of that. I I really this doesn't have any of those. And issues. maybe this is my this is my maybe this is my bias as a primarily infinite player that doesn't have a whole lot of experience with uh, old Halo titles. But I really don't get people. It's like, oh, they gotta put Blood Gulch in here, and it's like, it's just a big fucking field. Like, it's not. I don't think it's not interesting, but it's also completely busted with Infinite's like um, precision weaponry and mobility oh, yeah, options. Dude. It's just, it's not. It. You gone. There are a fuckload of Blood Gulch remakes mm -hmm. in uh, in custom games, and every single time you go into a custom game with Blood Gulch, you're instantly you're instantly getting sniped across the map. It's not yeah. fun. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I I really want all the people who demand Blood Gulch back to actually play one, some of those Blood Gulch remakes and realize how not <laughs> not fun Blood Gulch is in Infinite. Um, this is a this is a different Halo experience, yeah. and I need people to understand that what made older big team maps good isn't necessarily what's going to make for a good infinite big team map. Yeah. Uh, but you know what is a good big, uh, big big team infinite map? Motherfucking Fortitude. Oh, Fortitude. I would put Fortitude in Primo Kino Destination. Yeah, I love playing on Fortitude. I've, I've gotten, there have been times where I've gotten Fortitude three times in a row dude, and I'm just like, fuck yeah, more is, Fortitude. Dude, even, even Flag, which I'm normally like kind of iffy on, Flag is fun here. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Uh, you've got like, def you've got like, You've got the flags are in defensible locations that don't feel impenetrable though. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like there, there are ways that like you can kind of sneak in and grab the flag while no one's looking. But mm -hmm. there's also like plenty of spaces for people to like scout out and make sure that people don't come into those particular yeah. areas. It it really emphasizes effective team play and knowing the maps and yeah. knowing the map well. And that's that's just good design. That's yeah, just really good design. Uh, moving on, we've got Fragmentation. Uh, this is probably the map I have the least experience with aside from Breaker, but I have definitely played it um, a number of times, so... Uh, this is another one of the early ones, if I remember. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah it's... In my mind, I, it, in my mind, it's the one that's not high power. <laughs> uh, fragmentation, uh, back when it released, was probably the best big team map, and it was... Because of that, it was the big team map that was most heavily weighed in rotation you got this map the most out of any of them yeah um and that's not a bad thing 
Uh, I honestly think fragmentation's pretty solid. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's very much a jack of all trades uh, big team map. I think this it's feels solid this, enough at basically everything yeah. that it does. This feels like really um, this feels like a decent evolution of the idea of a big open field big team map. Um, yeah. But with enough elevation and things breaking up sight lines to not make it a miserable experience in infinite. Um, yeah. It's also got a unique aesthetic with it's like it just rained sort of clouds breaking apart lighting, um, mm -hmm. which I yeah I, very I, dusky yeah. yeah I don't know about dusky but it, like it definitely feels like it's after a storm which is interesting mm -hmm. yeah um, it is fun. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's uh, it rocks anyone's socks off, but it is a solid map, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, I've I've never really disliked fragmentation. It's it's even though it even though it used to come up so fucking often, I never really was upset whenever I got it. I was just like, oh sweet fragmentation, let's go. Yeah. But the, but then again, that was back when big team battle was a lot worse. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, I feel like now that. Um big team has had such changes I, I, I'd, I'd like to play fragmentation more could the matchmaker give me fragmentation more so I can have a more solid opinion on it that'd be great yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but the fact that I want to play it more is a good sign I think I think we'd be vibing with it are we vibing with it I'd be vibing with it yeah no like it's it is a solid ass map yeah but it doesn't really have anything that makes it super unique or uh or and it doesn't really particularly excel in anything the way that um uh, the way that Fortitude does. Yeah. So I so I think Doobie vibing with is about right here. Next up, High Power. This is this is kind of the default one in a lot of people's eyes. This is kind of the the uh, the Valhalla or the Blood Gulch of this game. Yeah, High Power is. If you have seen, uh, big team gameplay in Halo Infinite, you've probably seen High Power. Yeah. I will admit this is a very visually uh, iconic map for the game. Sure. Um, and I think it's actually pretty solid overall. Uh, it, uh, it is a map that, hold on. <clears throat> it's a map that's balanced, it's, it's a map that's effectively balanced for, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, objective modes. Sure. But it's not, but it's not a, but it's not a symmetrical map. Yeah. Which is something that I'm always going to give extra points for. Honestly, that's another issue that I have with um, the first one that we looked at, fucking Breaker. Uh, Breaker, is that it's completely fucking symmetrical. So even if you get on the other side of the map, it looks the fucking same. So who cares? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Symmetrical big team maps, like I, I am not a fan of those. So big team maps are best when they have an asymmetrical element to them. Sure. This does. I think it's pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's solid. I don't think it necessarily excels in any particular area, though. Um, I'm only, uh, honestly, that's, that's that's something you're going to find with a lot of these earlier uh, Halo Infinite big team maps, yeah. honestly, is that they're just fine. They're good. I think I think the problem I have with High Power is that it's, from both a gameplay and aesthetic standpoint, it's just kind of bland. Um, this is the most base UNSC nature outpost yeah. thing that you could possibly have in Halo, so I'll admit I'll agree there. Yeah. Um like and I, I think I put it in an acceptable area because when I, like I've had good times here, I've had bad times here, but I'm never like excited or dejected to get this map. It's very in the middle of the road yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. Cause like when you compare it to um because like when you compare it visually to fragmentation, fragmentation has like mm -hmm. uh, those like really big god rays. Uh, yeah, like like god rays and like those really big alien structures, and mm -hmm. uh, it has these uh, like blue lit hallways that you can go down and find weapons in yeah. and have like smaller skirmishes in. High power doesn't really have any of those like visual distinctions. I mean, it's got it's just kind it's, of... It's got, some neat, it's got, like, side yeah. passages, kind of, and it's got a big pit in the middle, but it's, like, it's not an exciting pit. It's just kind of there. It's um, just kind of there, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, like, if, you're, if you've got vehicles, you're kind of driving in a big oblong shape, but it's not as satisfying as something like Fortitude's, like, almost circular sort of racetrack sort of design. Yeah. Probably the biggest issue that I have with this is that it has a lot of dead space, yeah. for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. Just just large areas of the map where not much happens. 
That's true. The action feels very concentrated in certain areas. Yeah, that's another thing that really makes a good, uh, like, a really good big team map is where, like, the skirmishes feel kind of evenly distributed throughout the map. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like there's a boring area of the map. Yeah. So I'm putting that an acceptable area. Because it's an yeah, area it's that is acceptable. I accept it into my life and into my heart. Up next, we got insolence. You will pay for your insolence! Insolence is uh, another one of the new Forge maps added. Uh, yes. This one apparently believe... with a he this one was apparently designed with a heavy focus on competitive play. Yeah, this was designed to be a balanced competitive map, and as far as that goes, I can kind of see that. But what ultimately results is that if you're playing in like a just casual party setting, like mm -hmm. Zeke and I tend to, yeah. Especially if you're playing flag, it's. I don't like thing. I don't like flag on this map because the flag <laughs> really the flag is literally just sitting in a fucking like um in a bowl essentially <laughs> and it feels oh, like yeah, it yeah. is it, it feels like it's difficult to defend and difficult to attack and it feels like you need to you you need to partner up with someone and get a vehicle to escort you in and out what, yeah like one or two vehicles in there yeah and I I think for a pug setting that just is that's too much to ask um and so you, you get these it, long yeah. stalemates where nobody's capping anything. Yeah, it, it just causes most, uh, it, it just causes matches, especially flag matches, to just drag onward, and it just doesn't feel like, oh wow, it's all just like 2.5 <laughs> for total control, Jesus. For modes. Well, it splits all the mode comb. The way they tend to do it um, when they're not trying to weigh something is they'll pick every inst every individual map in mode combination gets an equal probability. That's usually how they try okay. to break it up. I was just trying to remind myself what insolence has on it. It has total control. Um, it has stock. It does have. It has stockpile. I've never played stockpile on this map. Yeah. Slayer and C T F. Yeah, it's got everything. Hon honestly, it's honestly, point. considering that, it probably wouldn't even be good for stockpile though. So. Actually, no. I think I have played stockpile once. No, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was oh yeah, that yeah. was that was an intense one. Um, <laughs> right. I think if you're just, I think I really hate flag on this map, but I think stockpile or slayer, or maybe total control are fine. Um, yeah. The main thing is that it's not super exciting visually, uh, and I think its layout is a little too a little too calculated in some ways. Um, yeah, it, it it doesn't have the it doesn't really have a whole lot of variety in terms of elevations and uh, mm -hmm. and like duck spots where you can just kind of like go in somewhere and kind of like you know mosey around there. It has like that destroyed. Really it has like that. It has like that destroyed scarab, I think, or whatever it that does, thing is. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, apart from that, um, it's 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 decent. It's a it's a it's a decent map. Yeah, I I, I put an acceptable area. Uh, I. Would you put it above high power, though? I need to play it more. I think at the moment my feeling yeah, is acceptable yeah. area. Okay, that's fair. And coming up next, it's Oasis. Oasis. Not to be confused with Oasis, or Oasis, or Oasis. <laughs> Many games have maps of this name. Um, the funny thing is, I mostly know Oasis as a firefight map at this point. <laughs> It's good for firefight, but that's not the ranking we're doing. Yeah, yeah, we'll do firefight another time. Yeah, but as a big team map, it's it's it's, it's fun. I like it's it. fun. It's fun. Yeah, no, I like it. It's uh, it's it's um, it's got that sort of. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but it's roughly symmetrical. Some of the buildings are different. Um, yeah, it's 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 got enough um, it's got enough differentiation in terms of layout that I think it works pretty it, it works pretty fine i like i think it's got um, it's got three very distinct areas the outside and then the inside of the base and then the cavern area um, the inside of the base the, the inside of the base is really fun to fight in yeah yeah i, I think yeah i think they're all because uh, the outside is mostly for vehicles you can also bring them into the cavern area kind of and then you got that internal uh structure uh which which are, are very uniquely um this map has very aesthetics that you don't really find on any other map because the the internals also got a lot of overgrowth to it which is nice um mm -hmm. and vegetation oh, yeah. one of my favorite one of my favorite elements in this map is just 
the way that it looks because it has like the that it's got red noticeable. red dusty like almost Martian sand. It's got a really it's got that tower like in the di- sand, yeah. yeah, it's got it's got that tower in the distance, really nice looking skybox. The cavern mm-hmm. area looks really the lighting in the cavern area looks really good, and then the internal uh, overgrown uh, like uh, lab, I guess, uh, with a little uh, rotunda platform in the middle. Uh, oh yeah, if we're going like strictly by aesthetics, this is one of the best looking big team maps. Yeah, and it's got a really fun, almost, almost kind of three. It's not even like a three lane design in the traditional like sense of like the way like a Counter Strike map is uh is three lane. It's like three lane in like a Neapolitan sandwich kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is fun. Like, no, I can, no, I can see that. I can see that. It's fun. I have fun here. It's uh. It's great. I th- I honestly think of like the six original ones. This one's probably the best. Yeah, yeah, I can agree there. But is it Primo Kino worthy? I'm not sure. It's not as good as it's not as good as what's currently in Primo Kino. But I do think it it is it is well above what I would consider be a a vibing with uh, map. I I think it's fun enough. Mm-hmm. That's where I would say it's one of the best big team maps in the game. So I'd say like yeah. bottom of Primo Kino. Yeah, yeah. I'd say I'd say that as well. Yo, next up it's Obituary. Obituary. Obituary is um I think it's the first map where we said this map feels designed for a bandit start. It does. Yes, and it feels I... like it feels like every engagement you have on this map is perfect for the bandit. Which is what you want out of a big team map if we're going to have bandit starts. Yeah, and honestly, this is like the first time where I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I like this one. Yeah, El Bendito. El- obituary is really good. Yeah. I love Obituary. Yeah, it, feel, it, feels, it feels classic, but like, like in, but like in a way that f- works for Infinite. It kind of feels like Waterworks if it was good, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it, 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 it does it does evoke a lot of the same feel and a lot of the same style as a classic Halo Big Team experience, but it's very nicely balanced to fit with... Uh, like, vehicles have some room to maneuver, but they're not completely dominating. Uh, mm-hmm. And, it you know, having room for... It's, it's a map that understands that having room for vehicles to maneuver does not necessarily mean you have to have big, wide-open spaces for people to have to risk yes. running across and getting sniped. Yes, there are specific lanes that are designed for vehicle traversal and attack. Yeah, but it doesn't work. But it doesn't result in them being completely overpowered and just dominating the entire experience. Mm-hmm. Even the open areas down the middle uh, are pretty effective at uh, limiting how much vehicles can actually be effective, mm-hmm. um, which is extremely rare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, it is it is definitely a very fun map. The only thing I really have against it is that, compared to some of the other Forge maps we have here and also elsewhere in the game, it's a little basic looking. It's certainly unique looking with its nighttime snowy, like, Rocky Mountain aesthetic, mm-hmm. but it doesn't feel as polished as some of the other ones, especially the one we're going to talk about next. Um, uh, yeah, not as much, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's kind of... Th- it's kind of like... Um, Sometimes when they give you bat, when they um, refresh maps with these batches of forge maps, some of them stand out as a bit more um, aesthetically coherent than other ones, and this one definitely feels the most forgey out of the ones we're covering today. But that's a yeah, mi- yeah. that's a minor nitpick, and I think I I think I'd put this in Doobie vibing with. It's pretty good. I'd say top of Doobie vibing with is a, a good place for this one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, coming up next, it's Refuge. Oh God, yeah. I uh, fucking so- love Refuge. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna get this out of the way first. This goes top of Primo Primo Kino Destination. <laughs> yeah, let's not let's not even beat around. I'm, the only reason I'm not, I'm not moving it there immediately is because I don't want people to look away and then look back and think we're talking about Scar. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. But like, all right, but Refuge Refuge is ama- Refuge is amazing. Refuge rocks. It, this is it is a remake of this... uh, Headlong from Halo Two. Um, yes. Um... And Headlong is already a really, really good map. Yeah, and it, and it works, and it works and shockingly well in Infinite, which they, is not something, which is not, which is not something you can say for most Halo Two maps. Yo, no, yeah, it translates so beautifully 
to how Halo Infinite is balanced and how Halo Infinite's gameplay loop yeah. operates. That, e like, even my least favorite game mode in this game, One Flag, mm -hmm. is pretty fun here. Yes, this is like... This is the only mm -hmm. good One Flag map. I, I, would, I would agree with that. I, I prefer regular CTF on this map, but One Flag is not intolerable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also... Before we even get into the gameplay, we just have to gush about how fucking beautiful this looks for a Forge map. Dude, like, w when you told me to, like, the first time we were playing this, you said, oh my god, look up at the skybox. I look up and I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, we are, like, <laughs> we are entrenched in, like, a city. There's, like, super tall buildings all around us. It's it's really, it's really, um, musky and cloudy. There's tons of overgrowth. Uh, this is a forge map, right? Yes, this is a forge map. Yeah, yeah. Th this this is probably the map that best exemplifies what you can fucking do in forge because the level of scale that it presents to you is pretty wild. The scale and just the sheer amount, the, the scale and detail is immaculate. It is probably there's there's two maps I've I've seen made in forge that are like I couldn't believe they were made in forge at first. This one and then uh, down uh, down uh, downfall. Uh, the uh, yeah. the four v four map I I played on you a few times. Um, th these two maps in particular showcase just how impressive this forge engine is, and mm -hmm. what can be what can be done with it. Um, yeah, it's yeah. it's beautiful. Um, but, but yeah, like even but like, and, and in terms of gameplay, again, this is kind of just a perfect map. Yeah, it's perfect. Really? It's, it's perfect for the it's perfect for the bandit starts. Uh, the vehicles oh, don't yeah. the feel the vehicles feel powerful, but they don't feel oppressive. They have a very specific amount of space they can occupy. Um, most most of the time, like most of the time, you will be running around the outer rims of the map, but you don't really have to. Most of the time, you yeah. can cross the midfield if you want to, and there's different ways you can kind of do that more safely. Um, it's a map that's not huge, but you can sneak around on it, and it, it's now been added to squad battle, and it weirdly feels right for both 16 and 24 people. It does. It really does. It's just kind of a great map that scales very well to, to 8v8 and 12v12. And talking about the One Flag experience on this map, one of the biggest issues that often happens with One Flag is that the defensible area for the flag is oftentimes either too defensible mm -hmm. or and you can't get it and you can't really get in easily or effectively. Yeah. Or it's just too open and you just get just get swarmed too easily. This somehow manages a balance where both, where it, where it feels completely reasonable and completely viable for teams to both attack and defend the point. Yeah. Because the, because the flag is positioned at the top of a, a long winding tower. Yeah. And the tower on the inside has a lot of ver uh, very uh, complex leveled elevations. That yes. you can tra traverse across. And it's and it's. It, it, I like how it emphasizes equipment use, like the repulsor mm. or the grapple shot. But you can't cheese it with vehicles yes. because it's inside a tower. Yeah, because like you can use the vehicles to get in and like clear out people on like the bottom two floors. But anything above there, you gotta you gotta hoof it. Yeah, and you gotta use your uh, and you gotta use your um your equipment and you can also come in from the top and kind of work your way down with the flag yeah. to get to a vehicle on the bottom which is also really good yeah there's multiple um, there's multiple angles of approach and escape um and it's it's very it's defensible but it doesn't feel oppressive it feels like a reasonable challenge to actually attack and uh get the flag out yeah yeah but also, but also, it doesn't feel like you're being overpowered when you're trying to defend it. It just, it just, it, it feels super balanced, and it makes the experience pretty enjoyable, actually. Yeah, Refuge is fantastic. I almost never have a bad time on Refuge, and if I do, it's clearly the matchmaker's fault and not the map. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. This goes up in Primo Kino, right there. No, yeah, Re Refuge is not only the best big team map. It is one of the best maps in the game, period. Yeah. Like, it's it, it's probably top five in the game. Yeah, yeah. I agree. But now we gotta talk about Scar. Ugh, Scar. Scar. I feel like, feel like Mufasa. It's like, Scar. 
you have deliberately disobeyed me. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> now, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Scar is... Uh, Scar is like the opposite of what we were just talking about. Um... <laughs> Everything that Refuge does right, Scar does wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this map, it's hard to say it's too big, but it just doesn't use its space particularly well. It feels like it does. every. It yeah. feels like when you play this this map, everything's in the wrong place somehow. Um, this I don't know where this, to. I don't know this, how to position on this map. It feels like everywhere I go is the wrong place to go. More than any other map in this game, this absolutely feels like. I don't know if this is actually true because I haven't played the Infinite Campaign yet, mm -hmm. but this feels like 343 just took a section of the campaign and plopped it into a map. I don't know if that's true. I haven't played it either, but... Uh... Yeah, but, but like it, it has that vibe to it because I can see why they would have thought that this would work as you know a big team experience, but unfortunately it's just a... It's far too unbalanced of a map. It's both too open and too cluttered. It's too mm -hmm. open in the center and too cluttered on the sides. This, yeah, the the sides feel almost worthless. Or not the sides. Uh, oh yeah. The areas, the but but, but I mean I mean the ends, like where you spawn. Yeah. yeah. Um, those oh, areas. Dude, the, the spawn areas are fucking just don't even bother. Nobody goes there. <laughs> nobody goes there. Every, yeah. Everybody's either dunking it in these small rooms to the side, or they're in the middle just fucking around. Um. It's chaotic, but not in a fun way. And like I said, you never everywhere you you stand on this map feels like it's the wrong place for some reason. I never feel like I understand this map or how it's meant to be played or what I'm supposed to be doing. I and I've played it a lot, and I still feel like everything I do is the wrong. Everywhere I go is the wrong decision. I try to get the I try to go for oh, the yeah. for the stuff that spawns on the side, like the hammer room or whatever. Wrong. Try to go down the middle. Wrong. Try to accomplish an objective. Wrong. What are you, stupid? You're supposed to stand, you're supposed to stand <laughs> like 50 feet away and snipe at them. Oh, I didn't know that. Let's fight over this very small cramped room that someone with a hammer is just going to kill 10 guys in. It's like... Yeah. Every mode... <sighs> this map is at its most tolerable when it's literally just Slayer and people are just doing whatever the fuck. And that's not yeah. that's not a great indict that's not a great uh, pra appraisal of its design. Yeah, it, yeah, mm -hmm. and I even back I've 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 been playing Halo Infinite since it launched, yeah. so I've been mm -hmm. yeah. So even me, who's had you know so much experience with the game, this is my this is probably my least favorite. Pick also, map. also, and this is a little beside the point, but also not really. It runs like shit. It does. I don't know what it is, but Scar just runs terribly no matter what your setup is. No, I will I okay, no, I will say when we get to our fire our firefight ranking, it is better as a firefight experience. It is a but much it, better firefight map. But, but it also emphasizes how badly optimized it is because the firefight version runs like ass. It is the oh, only God, time yeah. it is the only time in the game my frame rate will dip to the eighties. Yeah. And for and like, for, re you. for reference, most most in most situations in this game, I have a pretty locked 120, give or take a frame or two. And this map, um, even even normal PvP will push it down to like the 100s, and then in firefight it can get down to the 90s easily. It just plummets. Yeah. Yeah. There's something about this map that's just badly optimized. Yeah. Yeah. So I I would say, Scar's travels not advised, honestly. <laughs> For big team, yes, I would say it's there, it's definitely my least favorite big team experience. Yeah, for big team, it's just there's not really a whole lot positive to say about it apart from it's aesthetically pleasing. But yeah, but the thing is, we've put other maps higher because of their aesthetics before, but that's because they had other elements that worked in tandem with that to make it a better experience, like the gameplay or how it works well with a particular mode. Yeah. Scar doesn't have that benefit. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice looking map, but it's designed like ass. Yeah. So. Yeah. And finally, Thunderhead. 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 Lightning and the thunder. So this map uh, has one of my favorite details of any Halo Infinite map. Yeah. The drop. <laughs> <laughs> the drop is a lot of fun. When I, whenever I fucking like spawn up at the drop, I'm just like, oh my god, I get to do the thing. <laughs> Wee! Where are we dropping, boys? Yep. Just like yeah. 
I love the idea. I, I just, I love being able to say where we drop in boys in a game that is good. Um, <laughs> yeah. But it no, also, you're right, you're but, right. Yeah, but it also plays nicely. It plays pretty well. The only exception I would say is the total control variant where all the points are in a big line in the center. That's, that is... That sucks. That sucks. It is... It was probably the worst total control map, just because I don't know what they were thinking with that. Yeah. I don't know what they were thinking putting all the control points in a line. Yeah, there is a di it like there's like two different orientations. There's another orientation where it doesn't do that, so it's interesting uh, to say the least. Um, there's like two different total control modes in this in this uh, map. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. But otherwise, it plays it plays pretty nicely. It it uh, it's, it's a lot like Obituary in that it kind of has it, it has uh, space for vehicles, but they don't necessarily feel oppressive most of the time. There's also a lot of electric uh, shock weapons on this on this map, so there's a lot of anti-vehicle options. Um, or at least they're in they're in easy to reach places. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it stands out super well aside from some of the aesthetic things like the lightning and the drop, but. Um, yeah. Other than that, it kind of pl it plays a lot like fragmentation or obituary, which is why I kind of want to put it in the same place as them, uh, because it's it does. it's yeah, it, yeah. it's solid, but it's not the best. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, Honestly, it's, it, it it offers really good variety in comparison to some of the other maps that are here. Yeah. Um, and honestly, that honestly, that's something that I really like about the big team refresh is that it's added so much more variety of just solid well-constructed maps yeah and it's made big team so much better because like as you can see just looking at this if we were if you cut out uh if you just cut out uh all of the refresh maps most of big team is acceptable area with just like a couple in the other mm -hmm. uh with just like a couple of maps in the other uh yes yeah, so there's, there's a much wider range of experiences now yeah, and a, and, and a much greater amount of better overall experiences. I think that's probably the biggest takeaway about uh, the Big Team Refresh, is that it's improved the Big Team Battle experience to a degree where I actually like playing in it mm -hmm. uh, for longer periods of time. One of the biggest issues that I had with... Oh, yeah, yeah, put it in DB Vibe with, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. One of the biggest issues that I had uh, playing Big Team up until this point from launch to now is it just... It was a complete crapshoot whether or not you got a good map. Yeah. Um, it, it, it felt like a struggle to actually get a good game in, in, in Big Team. Mm -hmm. Because what ended up happening is that I would either get Breaker or Scar the most often. And I was just like, I'm not having a good time here. I'm not having yeah, a Yeah, ba back then, Deadlock was also not an acceptable area, so... Yeah, back then, Deadlock was... So you had basically like a 50% yeah. chance... You had a 50% chance of just bad, and then like... 25% mid and 25% okay finally some you get to oasis and you're like finally some good fucking food exactly yeah oasis was o oasis was, was literally <laughs> the oasis in a desert of crap <laughs> yeah so <laughs> aptly named yeah the the refresh has been a godsend for big team it really has been yeah uh, when the worst when the worst one added was is just kind of acceptable to us and other people enjoy it more than us like I think other people enjoy yeah. insolence more than we do um, yeah yeah but like when the worst one is just acceptable it's a good update absolutely absolutely mm -hmm. I I I, th I think this is really uh, again I feel like this is one of the biggest examples of how three four three has gone out of their way to turn Halo Infinite around yeah because they're just like man we released this game in a in a in a hot in a hot ass state so. Uh, let's add more to the game and let's add more variety let's get better maps in here so that people have a, a better experience in general and mm -hmm. again big team's great now big team is great now yeah no I, I queue for big team regularly which is not something i could say before the refresh absolutely yeah. absolutely and now, like, and now, like, and now I, after I, the... I used to, i used to complain i used to complain whenever saradin queued us for big team i'm like do you really want to play big team right now mm -hmm. <laughs> but now it's worth playing yeah no absolutely i honestly i get the i get the distinct feeling that our experience is probably a consistent experience for a lot of other halo fans because i feel like the reason this refresh happened is because no one was playing big team <laughs> yeah among other things yeah yeah 
uh, and the, now that with the with the squad refresh, people a lot more people are playing squads as well, and we will get to the squad ranking at, at some point. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I think on the on the horizon, uh, we'd like to do squad battle ranking, husky raid ran ranking, um, and uh, uh, what was the other one? Fuck, um, firefight ranking. Um, there's some other ones I'd like to do like doubles, but like it's kind of hard to play all the doubles maps. Uh, all the doubles it exclusive is, yeah. maps. You have to play a lot of doubles to get experience with that. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, so, yeah. Uh, and uh, when, if they ever refresh the 4v4 modes enough to add a lot more shit, like, um, like since we did that video where they've added Illusion and Elevation, both great, uh, but we're not do we're not redoing the video for two maps. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, more, more, uh, more Halo content to come, and the podcast will be back soon. I, we should almost certainly record next weekend oh, or, oh, or, yeah. or tomorrow actually no not tomorrow that's right not tomorrow, not tomorrow yeah, yeah 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 next weekend uh so until then though uh we'll see you next time zeke freak out ciao ciao for now